Well, the first three seasons of The Tudors, the show about King Henry VIII and his many wives, have riveted TV audiences across Canada, which brings us to the fourth and final season. And let's just say heads really start to roll. The story revolves around Henry's teen bride, Queen Catherine Howard. I don't want to give away the whole plot, but it involves some infidelity and a very disapproving husband, which is basically what The Tudors is about. The infamous monarch's fifth wife is being played by 23-year-old British actress Tamsin Merchant. Tamsin is a newcomer to Canadian audiences until now, and she joins me live in Studio Q. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Canada. Thank you. Your first time, right? It is, yeah. Your first day, or how long? First 24 hours in Canada. And what is your impression of us? I love it. Here in the colonies. (laughs) <laughs> well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. I love it. It's beautiful. I guess you kind of have to say that. Uh, yes, but... Um, yeah, it wouldn't but go over well if you said, <laughs> yeah, but you do. Uh, yeah. uh, and, and this is an interesting one because you're, uh, you're a Cambridge student or you've been a Cambridge I student. I just graduated. You yeah. just graduated. Uh-huh. So you were... And what, and what were you studying? Um, English and education. Nice. All right. So yeah. you were... Studying at Cambridge mm-hmm. and at the same time landed a starring role in a major television production? Yeah, that's pretty much... How did you navigate that? Well, um, Cambridge has like these these three terms that are two months each. And so I have a four-month summer holiday, um, which is pretty good. Um, so over the course of two summer vacations, I guess you call it, I shot the two seasons of The Cheaters that I was in. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, it, it worked out pretty much perfectly to the week so um yeah and I, and is there a uh, you, you have multiple uh, multiple interests do you you on the one hand clearly want to be an actor but you're also studying uh-huh a, a i Cam- yeah i felt like i really wanted to um go to university and get a degree and um there's so many interests i have i'm kind of pursuing should writing. you not have picked a prestigious school <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well yeah. C- Cambridge not so bad right yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty fine um <laughs> but yeah I I love writing and it was great to kind of get to develop that as well so this uh, is a pretty juicy role uh-huh. uh Queen Catherine uh, Catherine Howard how, how did you go about getting this role um I put myself on tape and uh, apparently that was enough I mean <laughs> I, I put myself on tape I was on holiday actually with my sister in New York at the time put myself on tape and uh yeah, I, uh, I just, they, they called me a couple of weeks later and said they wanted me to go to Dublin to, to shoot it. So, so you're, you're on holiday in New York. Yeah. So tell me how that works. So you hear about a role that is available to you. Yeah. And then you're like, quick, get the mini cam. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, my, uh, my portable uh, camera set. Yeah. Um, well, actually, my agent kind of called me in a panic um, and was like, you have to put yourself on tape for this role. So I, um, I a friend of a friend basically helped me out and um, put it on the internet and sent it to the casting directors. And why did you want to play this role? Well, I love The Tudors. Like, it's an amazing show. And you were already a fan of the show. Yeah. You, you knew about it. Yeah, yeah. I did. I knew about it. And um, it's just like, it's. I think with Catherine Howard, I think she specifically was this amazing character who has, I think there are a lot of different interpretations of, you know, the reasons that she did things and what exactly she did, because obviously it's never been proven that she uh, had an affair or whatever. Um, terrible things people were saying about her but um, I think the thing is the thing is with the Tudors is that something that really attracted me to it was the fact that it actually happened um, that it's real that it's based on real people and real events I went to Hampton Court Palace um, in London and a a while ago after I'd shot the Tudors and I just had this terrible feeling for Catherine Howard the real woman because she apparently haunts a corridor Mm. down in Hampton Court and um, it really struck me. So for, for people who don't know the history and haven't seen, uh, I've seen the first couple of episodes they gave me in advance and, and uh, uh-huh. The Tudors is such a compelling show. Yeah. Partly because it is steeped in history and you sort of go, wow, mm. this happened, you know. But yeah. but also, uh, I mean, you know, what's not to like about drama that involves, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, loyalty issues and sex and, but, uh-huh. but what, what tell, tell, describe if you will, Catherine Howard, for people who don't know who she right. was. Well, Catherine Howard is basically this young, tempting woman that's put in front of Henry when he's kind of dissatisfied with Anne of Cleves. And she's this bright, vivacious, fun-loving girl, basically, um, uh, who, who starts off very... With a, she has a great start in the Tudor court. Everyone seems to like her. Everything's going well. She sort of 
is the good time girl for Henry in a way. She's a teenager. She is a teenager. She's maybe around 16 or 17. Well, in the show, she is 17, 18. And she only she was only queen for two years because uh, stuff yeah. happened, <laughs> basically. Don't give away um, the ending. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> there's a rhyme, I think. That's a bit of a spoiler. Right. <laughs> you know that divorce, beheaded, died. Oh, Did right. you learn that one in no. school? No, uh, do it. Uh, well, it goes. I don't want to spoil anything but I think it's okay it's yeah? in history it's in the books yeah. right yeah people have probably people know that bad know. things happen yeah. <laughs> um we I remember learning this when I was about eight um it's for the wives of Henry VIII because he had six it goes divorce beheaded died divorce beheaded survived oh, uh no. so if you do your she's math, number five yeah. yeah I think I figured that out just uh-huh. now as did everybody <laughs> else so you portray K- K- Queen Catherine as a very hypersexual mm. young woman what why was she why was she that way what well, I think that in the Tudors, obviously, the way, the, the sort of style of this show is quite hypersexual anyway. Um, and I think that Catherine Howard being the one queen that was pretty much confirmed. Um, I mean, I think that there was sort of a confirmed, very sexually active person as, as from a very young age. I think that that was quite important to to show her as that kind of character, especially... It, as a sort of foil to Henry VIII's waning prowess, mm. I think, because obviously in the first few seasons he's 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 a man, um, and then sort of Catherine, this younger girl, comes and and it, that almost highlights Henry VIII. Oh, aging. he's like fifty at this point, or something. Yeah, right? he's he's fifty and he's uh, he's losing it a bit. <laughs> so. Although although Jonathan Rhys Meyers still looks super hot. And yeah, <laughs> it, it's, kind of, it's kind of like it's not really easy for him to look older. He did, no. I mean, he, I mean he's, you know, you get it. But uh-huh. uh, so so did was that a difficult role to play in in uh, trying to in playing this sexualized uh, woman, but who is uh, at the same time a relatively inexperienced teenage girl? Mm. Well, I think that's part of her tragedy. Really, is that she has this. Her, her sort of sexual sexuality, I guess, is exploited by people, by the people around her in the court, and obviously, is exploited by Henry himself, who wants to have another heir, a male heir, which is pretty much the whole point of of Catherine Howard. And obviously, she doesn't realise this for quite a long time, and so she has this um, sort of huge sexual appetite that can't be fulfilled and is actually being used for the wrong reasons and she she allows herself to kind of be exploited and let me ask you this you're not that far removed from your teens you're 23 uh-huh. now. Uh, there are certain stereotypical traps when it comes to teen girl roles yeah were there any pitfalls you wanted to avoid to stay clear of uh, cliches um i don't think so i think the thing is um what i actually wanted to make sure is that Catherine seemed like quite a modern young woman and not I think with with period drama, it's quite easy to play to the period and play as a sort of Tudor 1500s era person. But I think with Catherine Howard, what I actually wanted to highlight is the fact that she doesn't really fit into court and she doesn't really kind of conform to the propriety that's expected of her. So actually, almost I embrace some of those those teen kind of attitudes right. to achieve that. Do you think we're more accepting of teenage sexuality, especially when it involves an older man like that, in period dramas like the Tudors than we would be if it was a contemporary setting? I I think perhaps with the Tudors, it was very much sort of part of the dynamic between Catherine and Henry that he was older, and so it almost... It's quite disturbing. I think it's meant to be quite a disturbing kind of kind of relationship. So actually, perhaps maybe what what we've done in the Tudors is used the modern sort of attitude that it is actually a little sick and transferred it back to mm. to look at that relationship in that light. How do you feel about what happened to Queen Catherine? Pretty sad. <laughs> it's pretty Thank sad. you, Tamsin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that. That sums it up. In Why a do you of think words. this the story of King Henry and, and Queen Catherine in particular still resonates today? Um, well, I think I think Henry VIII himself is like a really fascinating character, and I think that perhaps the people, I think that that's why the Tudors, that's really the sort of engine for the Tudors is that the way that Johnny plays Henry um, is just fascinating, and I think. 
I think there is almost a kind of delicious tragedy in what happens to Catherine Howard. I mean, I think almost knowing knowing the ending makes watching it all the more compelling because you're just waiting for things to happen. That's, that's kind of the thing about the Tudors in general. I mean, yeah. we joke about not giving away the ending, but you really know mm-hmm. he has six wives. <laughs> yep. None of them make it. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and yet it's, you, you want to watch it uh, play out. I mean, it's, it's such a, a compelling program. Before I let you go, uh, tell me about this part of a new production of Jane Eyre uh, with Mia Vashikovska, who's fantastic. Yeah, she's, been she's, in, she's been here. And, see, and, and Judy Dench. Mm. Uh, tell me about this. Um, well, it's it's a new film of Jane Eyre, directed by Kerry Fukunaga, and Mia plays Jane, and I play um this the younger sister of the man played by Jamie Bell actually, um, who is this the sort of quite strange religious family on the moors find her um, when she's sort of battered and she's run away, and uh, with this we sort of take her in, and um, yeah, it's kind of a gothic take on on the sort of classic tale of Jane Eyre so do you refuse to play any anybody from the 20 <laughs> 21st or 20th century yeah I wish that I could get a part actually like in a modern <laughs> you're, <laughs> film right 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 yeah. you're, you're because, so it sounds like uh the acting gig is something that you're you're going to continue pursuing you've done you've finished Cambridge yeah I just and for now this is the way you're going yeah I'm, I'm doing this I'm I'm doing some writing like I'm pursuing some some writing interests um uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, just trying to do as much as I can. Really, bit of a jack of all trades. Nice to meet you, and yeah, you're really great in this show. I, Thank I look you. forward to people seeing this. Tamsin Merchant plays Queen Catherine Howard in the fourth and final season of The Tudors, and Tamsin Merchant has been with me here live in Studio Q.